The Argentine and Iceland situation was because uh, the governments there made promises in, uh, basically in, in, uh, in terms of things they don't control. Now, almost all the obligations of the U.S. government is in terms of dollars. And one of the great things about government that you or I can't do is they can print their own money. So if they say, we will pay you $1,000, they can make $1,000 and pay you. Now, wh what that $1,000 is going to be worth, that's a different question, but they certainly can meet the obligation. So I don't think they're going to be in quite the same kind of... Uh, problem that these other governments are in. But I think the, the question is how much dollars are going to be worth. And that's kind of an inflation question. And I think there, there are, you know, part of the danger of these stimulus packages is there's a lot of money that's going out there. Right now, the velocity of money is very low, which means it's unlikely to create any short-term inflation. But in the long term, all the money that's being created could potentially turn into an inflationary, uh, a, a rapid inflationary scenario, which would be very bad in the long term.